The Fairfax 2015 World Police and Fire Games encompassed 12,000 athletes from 70 countries playing in 61 different sports. The games were a huge success, and we had the opportunity to hear and discover what it was like to be an athlete and participate in the games. Well, I started wrestling in high school and I continued with it once I graduated and went to college over at George Mason. Um, unfortunately, I sustained an injury and I couldn't continue with it. So, years later down the road when we had the games, I decided that I'd uh, try my hand at wrestling again. I started playing soccer when I was a little kid uh, in my neighborhood in Iran. Uh, me and my uh, neighborhood friends and neighborhood kids went out on the street and played uh, soccer with, uh, with a plastic ball uh, back then. And fast forward 20 years, uh, I'm playing here with my friends with the uh, police department and the fire department. And uh, we learned that uh, Fairfax County was going to host the 2015 World Police and Fire Games. And we decided to uh, see if we could put a team together to compete in the, uh, in the events. I was just happy that I was actually able to go compete in the games. Uh, it, you know, that was a success in itself, being able to go out there, not having any injuries, and you know, I felt like I won to begin with. When I arrived at the uh, opening ceremony, uh, I was actually uh, stunned for a minute because I saw all of these athletes from all around the world, and uh, pretty much everyone had, had tried to come to the opening ceremony. Uh, you had all the countries. Uh, you had India, you had uh, Indonesia, you had uh, uh, UK, Canada, uh, my peers uh, from Fairfax County. And uh, we were able to form a group uh, so when we walked down the aisle, uh, we all could be together. As we walked in, or were preparing to walk in, it was a great feeling because Fairfax County, we were the last to actually enter. So you walk in RFK and there's, you know, there are a lot of people in there, you know, supporting you, cheering you on. And uh, there was a lot of excitement going on. Um, and once you walked into the stadium, you were able to see your friends and family that had come there to, uh, to support you and to cheer for you uh, during the game. And uh, it, was, it was really exciting to, to see um, and to be able to live that moment. A lot of support that was shown for these games and you just felt like you were on top of the world when you walked in there. Uh, it was great. Fairfax County is my home. Um, I live here in, in the county and uh, I thought that it was going to be great for us to be able to represent the county in this uh, great sport event. Um, we, uh, we wanted to communicate with the other police officers and firefighters from around the world and uh, we wanted to say that we do have something to say and uh, at the end we actually ended up uh, winning the uh, gold uh, for Division 2 in soccer. To win the event it just felt great. I felt like I was winning just by stepping out there and competing. I felt like a success right away but winning the event, getting a gold medal and a silver medal and Greco and Freestyle, I, I couldn't believe it. You know, I was happy as can be. I think there were lessons learned outside of you know, wrestling in the actual competition and talking with the athletes at uh, the opening and closing ceremonies you know, about their work and their life and whatever country they're from. It was great to be able to talk to all these other police officers because we all essentially have one common goal and that's serving the community. Um, and uh, networking was, was great. Sharing the idea of serving the community was great. Uh, being able to maybe possibly doing ride-alongs overseas with, with these other police departments, that's also uh, 
a great goal that at least it was for me to be able to uh, uh, see what other people are doing around the world to hopefully I can be a better servant to my community. But just being there alone was a great experience. Just to represent the county and you know, be a member of the U.S. contingent was great, especially because it was in our home uh, jurisdiction. And you know, we could show people you know, what Fairfax County was all about, as well as compete you know, in the wrestling and other various sports. I would definitely compete again. Uh, we're already talking about hopefully keeping the team for the uh, Montreal games. Um, we were also, uh, we're talking about maybe competing next year in San Diego for the uh, U.S. championship games. Uh, this was just an eye-opening for, for us and a lot of other athletes from this area. And I'm sure a lot of, uh, most of them had a lot of fun. And a lot of them are thinking about competing in at least the uh, Montreal games, especially it's not that far away from here. But the experience is just something I'm going to cherish for the rest of my life. Uh, uh, the pictures, the, the, the moments I had, whether if they were on the field or off the field, uh, that 10 days of just having pure fun. It was just a, a priceless experience.